Hey everyone, this is another Jack Jack contest. You always know I'm going to do a contest every blue moon. Well, this is another scratch bill contest with a kit bash twist to it. So, let me go over this real quick and then I'll go over the rules. So, let's do it this way. You're going to take a kit, any kit, doesn't matter. Paper kit, wood kit, plastic kit metal kit doesn't matter it's a kit you're gonna take a kit I'm using this as an example so you're gonna take a kit what you're going to do is you're gonna change that kit into something different from what it actually is okay uh, for example you get the uh, the Walters power station uh, the power plant or the paper mill you're going to take that either paper mill and the power plant and you're going to change it into something else. Okay? Doesn't matter what it is, but you cannot have it as the original product of what it's supposed to be. Okay? You're going to change it to something different. In that process, what you're going to be using is three materials. You're going to use a wood. You're going to use a plastic or PVC or styrene and you're going to use a metal foil paper brass tubing uh, any type of metal okay you are going to put it in that kit as part of the structure okay it has to be a part of the structure okay it has to be a part of the structure listen to that uh, please listen to what I'm saying you're gonna take these three materials and add it to the structure that you changing from original from its original form okay so if you build a wood you gotta use a wood crest wood whatever and add it on to the wood plus the metal and the styrene okay pretty simple huh piece of cake no problem okay you're gonna take those three materials and add it to that structure whatever type of material in that kit you're gonna use these three materials okay so that's pretty simple that's all you're doing nothing more nothing less you're gonna take three materials a plastic a wood and a metal and you're gonna add it to that Back, kit bash you doing okay now everybody's like well isn't that mean you take another kit and another kit two kits and you put them together that's kit bashing well that's true but you're gonna take a kit one kit and you're gonna change it by bashing it to something different with these three materials okay so let's don't get this so confused and twisted because I'm sure someone is like well I can go get two kits or and take something out of that kit and add it to this kit no that's not how this is going to go you're only gonna use one kit one kit and you're gonna change the formation of that kit using these three materials okay a plastic a wood and a metal I just had to get the full paper because I didn't have nothing else to use guys sorry so if you have to make some irrigated siding for your walls there you go so that's plain and simple you are taking these three two materials and you're using them in the kit as part of the structure okay plain and simple the size it can be any size no greater than 14 by 14 inches if it's a 6 by 6 it's a 6 by 6 if it's an 8 by 8 it's an 8 by 8 it doesn't matter as long as it's no bigger than 14 inches in dimension 14 by 14 okay all right so we got that covered when you bring it to life this is very key and listen very closely when you bring that bill to life with the scenery, 
You can do whatever you have to do to bring that bill to life, but you cannot add any detail other than what's in the kit to the bill. If it comes with a detail kit, use it in the de use it in the bill, but you cannot add any other detail to that bill unless you actually build the detail to that bill, okay? So once again, when you bring it to life, you cannot add any detail to that build unless it come in that kit, okay? Make sure you do not add anything other than what's in the kit. And before you even start building the kit, you need to show me the kit. You're gonna open up the kit. You're gonna show me all the templates of the material of, of each object in that bill so I know exactly what's in that bill. So when you prepare that bill, I know exactly what's in there. Because if you use something else in the build and you put it on that structure, you're disqualified and you will lose and you will not get a consolation prize. So do not add anything other than what's in the build unless you're going to build it. And I need to see what you are building for that structure that you're kick bashing. OK, so there's where you use your creative thinking and designing for the structure. OK. So, I think I covered pretty much all of that in that section. Now, the 3D printers. 3D printers are allowed in this contest, but they're going to have to go from start to finish all the way to the designing of that build. You need to show me either on the computer, or on a piece of paper, the dimensions of that build. You need to show me the sh what type of build it's going to be. And you have to maintain a start and a finish. But not, you don't have to show me every detail of the build because the number one thing is that, that 3D printer extrudes and it probably take you forever to do one wall. So you don't have to show me just the, the start process and the final product. And you will put it together just as if it was a kit. Okay. Okay, pretty simple. Uh, every video has to be timestamped. You must be timestamped all your videos. Doesn't matter how many videos, as long as they're timestamped. Okay, so uh, the 3D printers are allowed. But once again, you have to show me everything from start to finish. If you only got pictures, that's fine. But I need to show, see some dimensions of that build. If it's a six by six, then you need to pr draw a six by six dimension on uh, designs of that build. Okay. And the st somewhere some point of the uh, 3D printer start, and somewhere it has finished it, and the final product where you put it together. Okay. So. The 3D printers, once again, the 3D printers are allowed in this contest, okay? They just have a little bit more work to do than the people with the kits. So, um, rules. Let's go over the rules. Once again, you have to be a subscriber. All, all subscribers' videos must be time-stamped. The kit... You must use three materials, once again, three materials in the structure of the bill. That is the metal, the wood, and the plastic. Okay? Do not use green sheets or plastic in this build. If I see green sheet or plastic in this build, you're automatically disqualified. No green sheets, no plastic in this build. You have to go get a for sale sign or some handicap signs from this type of styrene that you can get at uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, or Walmart. But do not, 
and I cannot express eliminate this more than anything do not use any green sheets material green sheet or plastic material at all once again that will Ill, that you will be disqualified you cannot use any detail kits in this bill only the detail kits that detail that comes in the kit itself okay if you do use a detail kit outside and put it on that bill you're disqualified from the cut test and you will not be allowed to get a constellation prize either okay you're completely disqualified okay um, I think that's pretty much it um, the size is 14 by 14 or less make sure it is 14 by 14 or less I don't care what size as long as it's not over 14 inches by 14 inches okay all structures need to be in a container besides a 3d printer unless if it's a 3d printer uh, it has to be in a in some type of form that is originally been closed and then open and I need to see every detail in that kit so that I know that it is what you put in that kit is going to go into the bill but you do not have to use the entire kit ladies and gentlemen you do not have to use the entire kit to kit bash whatever you're using okay make sure you understand that okay as long as you use these three materials in this in this bit in your structure that's all that matters matter okay all right so the contest will start September 20th it will end October 30th the deadline for your videos need to be in by uh, the final deadline to enter the contest is October 10th the deadline for your videos is October 20th and October 30th is the ends the contest the judging will be uh, around October 10th uh, the day before Thanksgiving I will announce the winner okay so to all of you good luck thank you for watching and if there's any questions and God please don't let it be no more questions you know where to find me do not text me please do not text me if I have no question all right that's gonna conclude this y'all take care God bless be safe and I will see y'all in the live stream bye